the concept of second law of indices. If A is a non-zero real number and uh, m comma n are rational, then a power m by a power n is equals to a power m minus n and a power 0 is equals to 1 and a raised to minus m is equals to 1 by a power m. So, a to the power of m divided by a power n. I assume here the formula for m greater than n, so that m minus n is a positive number. So, a power m means a multiplied m times a into a into and so on m times divided by a into a into and so on n times. Now, in the numerator and denominator cancelling a n times. So, remaining a's are m minus n times should be multiplied a into a into and so on m minus n times right and that is nothing but a to the power of m minus n. So, a to the power of m divided by a power n is equals to a to the power of m minus n. As an example, I consider 7 to the power of 6 divided by 7 power 4. 7 power 6 means 7 into 7 into 7 into 7 6 times divided by 7 4 times. So, when you eliminate 4 7s remaining you will be getting 7 square that is the same as 7 to the power of 6 minus 4. Of course, what happens if numerator is power is less than the denominator power that follows the next concept that is if you have a power m divided by a power n is equals to a power m minus n. In this formula suppose if you have m is equals to n itself both the numbers are equal then I say this is a power n by a power n is equals to a power n minus n, but left hand side by cancellation because a is a non zero 1 is equals to a power 0. Therefore, a power 0 is defined it as 1 a power 0 always is equals to 1. At the same time now if I consider in this case a power m by a power n is equals to a power m minus n in the same formula if I take up the case as n is m is equals to 0 then in that case a power 0 by a power n is equals to a to the power of 0 minus n, but you know a power 0 is equals to 1. So, 1 divided by a power n is equals to a power minus n. So, in general I say that a power minus n is nothing but 1 divided by a power n.